Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel eLearning Arena. I am your host process engineer Sayyid Vakas Haider. In today's video I am uh, going to use PipeNet software. Uh, PipeNet is a very useful software for hydraulic calculation. So I am going to give a very short basic tutorial on this software. So let's start. First of all, I, I selected a new file and I am going to start a standard uh, simulation on this software. So I am going to select a pipe here. So I, this is the pipe 1 of our software, uh, of our simulation. And then again I am clicking on this node. So this is a very basic structure. So let's assume that our fluid will flow from this uh, pipe and will exit our network from uh, this node. So we are going to simulate this network. You can go to options tab and select the units of your own choice. There are a uh, number of units available for different uh, for example, length, diameter, velocity, temperature, you can select the units of your own choice. And after selecting uh, the units of your ch own choice, you can hit the apply button. Then you can go to fluid tab and select the type of fluid that, are, that you are going to use in your calculations. Uh, there are not much available fluids, of, uh, there are not much fluids available in PipeNet uh, built-in library. So you have to select either one of uh, these uh, fluids or you can select a new fluid and uh, you have to enter the properties. So I am going to select the water. For this software, you can change uh, the temperature or you can, uh, uh, you can select the temperature of your own choice or of your uh, and then you can go to pipe types. You have to select a new pipe type. There are different uh, schedules available. So I am going to select uh, the DIN, DIN standard. And then you have to hit, hit the apply button again. After selecting units, fluid and pipe types, I am going to close it but there are different uh, uh, other options available so you can uh, change according to your preferences so there are a number of things that you can change in this uh, options tab so now i have to uh, enter the specifications of my network first of all our network has two pipes uh, this is a horizontal and this is a vertical pipe so first of all, I am going to select the horizontal pipe. These are the specification that I have to enter. First of all, I have to select the type of the pipe. We have only one type of the pipe in our uh, network that is only DIN standard. And I have selected the DIN standard. Then I have to enter the diameter of this pipe. So let's select the two inch diameter. And then I have to select the length of this pipe so let's assume it is 5 meter and then you can enter the elevation of this pipe and that's all we need at the moment and so as you can see that the color of this pipe has turned black it's mean that the it is uh, the specification the required specifications are being entered correctly now I am going to select the vertical pipe again we have to select the pipe type and then the diameter and length ten meter so it is turned black uh, and now I am entering the exit node uh, I am entering the exit node we have to select that this is a this is an output and this node 
is our input. And that's it. And now we have to specify the analysis. Analysis mean temperature or uh, uh, analysis mean pressure and flow rate either for this input node or this output node. So let us specify the pressure and flow rate at the input node. So we have to select the analysis spec and then we have to specify the pressure. Let us say there is 5 psi and 1 1000 kg per hour. So this so all the data has been entered now we have to check that if there are any errors in our uh, network so we have to click this arrow this tick mark to check the network and you can see that there there is no errors in our network then we can calculate uh, hit the calculate button to see our results you can see that that is that status is okay so our network has been simulated we can click the pipe and here are the results the input pressure of this horizontal pipe is 5 psi and when the fluid exited uh, from this node the flow rate the output pressure is 4.99 the velocity of the fluid is 0.12 pipe friction, static head loss, friction factor, flow rate etc. All the results are available in, in this tab. And then this the vertical tab, you can see the results are here. You can create the report of your result by clicking this report, browser output. You can click this, you can, uh, you can see the results on a word or on output browser so this is the result output so this is the complete report of our hydraulic calculation you can see all the results here you can print it out and share with uh, share it with anyone else so this is a very short tutorial of PipeNet. It is a very useful software. It uh, it comes. It's very simple and it is very easy to use. And it is very useful software for uh, engineering calculations, especially hydraulic calculations. So, I hope you like uh, this very short tutorial of PipeNet. And thank you very much for watching this video. Bye bye.